Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick heads up to let you know about reports doing the rounds online saying that cybersecurity researchers have come across another variant of the ClickFix social engineering attack where threat actors can combine realistic fake Windows update animations with advanced social engineering techniques to compromise systems. And if you don't know what a click fix attack is, basically it's aimed at tricking the user into performing an action that security software typically blocks when performed automatically. And in these new variants, victims encounter full screen browser pages mimicking a critical Windows security update or a human verification capture. And according to a post by Bleeping Computer, who has provided us with this image as well, I'll leave the article linked in the description. The attack has been widely adopted by cyber criminals across all tiers due to its high effectiveness and has continually evolved over time. And as we can see, the fake update page basically instructs victims to press specific keys in certain sequences which pastes and executes commands from the attacker, as we can see in the run box, that were automatically copied to the clipboard via JavaScript running on the site. So what's taking place under the hood here is that the threat actors are using something called steganography to encode the final malware payload inside an image. So rather than simply appending malicious data to a file, the malicious code is encoded directly within the pixel data of PNG images relying on specific color channels to reconstruct and decrypt the payload in memory, according to researchers. Now that's quite a mouthful, but basically at the end of the day how this will all work, just to bring it down to a more simple level, the way this works is that you would visit a website displaying a fake full screen error such as, in this case, a stuck Windows update, or in another case, a verify you are human check. And then what happens is background scripts on the site secretly copy malicious code to your computer's clipboard. The screen instructs you to open the Windows run prompt and paste the text to fix the issue. And once you hit enter, the command downloads a seemingly harmless image file, which actually contains the malware that's then decrypted. So that's how this all works at the basic level. Now I must just say that I think most viewers of this channel, including myself, will not fall victim to this because I think if you have a bit of tech savvy, you'll know what's going on and just avoid this. But I think if you are an older person, maybe not so tech savvy or an average Joe, not computer literate, I think this could um, be a bit of an issue. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up, not to fear monger, but just to keep you guys informed like we like to do on the channel. So if you see something like this online, just stay well away from it and move on, so to speak. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.